Hey guys, so I thought I'd just do a quick video showing you my makeup storage because I really like watching these videos because it combines my two favourite things like interior design and makeup. This is just my dressing table, I think it's just um, from Ikea, it's like I got it years ago and the chair's also from Ikea. This is my favourite thing ever, this pillow, I love it. And there's a really similar one in West Elm that's like £60 or something, but this one was from TK Maxx and it's like 20 something, but yeah, it's so bluffy, I love it. On my dressing table I've got like little, little plate rings and things with this really cute little key ring. Got candle burning, a little pineapple to hold on my cotton buds when I'm doing my eyeliner because I definitely need those. Yeah, these are my favourite type of cotton buds. These like Korean cotton buds, but they're like, so it's not going to focus, but anyway, they're like super, super thin. Then I have a little tray and this has got most of my perfume. I also have stuff at uni right now um, that I didn't bring home, so some stuff is missing. Got my perfume and my brushes in a little old candle holder. I forget what the make is. It, it looks like Cire... Trayvon? Like, I've probably butchered that, but that's what it looks like when it's written down. Anyway, they like burn them when you walk into Selfridges and stuff and they smell really good. So, um, oh, and then I've got some skincare because um, this, the stuff that has like retinol in it shouldn't be stored in sunlight because it like, it, I don't think it like goes off, it just goes a bit weird and like doesn't do what it's meant to do. So yeah, I have all my fancy skincare in here, so to speak. And this little tray is from H&M Home, I love it. I think that like, when I put it in, when I have a kitchen to put it in, I think I'm gonna like put my um, an espresso machine on it. I think it'll look really cute. And over here, I have my version of a ring light. I really want a ring light, but they're so expensive. So I just have um, this little number seven. Yeah, it is a light up mirror. It's a bit dirty, sorry. And then I have this from IKEA, which matches it really, really well. And you can just move it about, and then you can like let me turn it on. It's really bright. Woo! So yeah, it's, together it essentially makes like a fake ring light. And then I have all of these fairy lights. These are also from Ikea. And then I have a little um, paper chase picture frame with a little picture of me and Joel in it. And then here I have, um, this is for when I tried soap brows. Um, I just put a, like a bar of soap on top of um, a candle holder because I didn't really know how else to like store open soap. And then here, the back I have, this is the coolest invention. It's a blender holder so that your beauty blender doesn't like bounce around and doesn't go mouldy and stuff and the beauty blender ring is only from Primark so yeah that's that area also there's a drawer under here that you can like pull out but that's just full of rubbish and then in here well I don't oh my god I haven't even looked I don't know what's in here you got some setting sprays I have these weird like Japanese I don't know what these do if you know what these do please let me know because Joel bought them back for me from Japan I, I don't know and then what's in here? Oh my god, this is as exciting for me. What is it? Oh, it's just some like old jewelry box and it's my little display area. Um, this little tray is from H&M Home again. These were candle holders um, from Tom Dixon that I just like burnt the wax out of. They smell really bad, like, <laughs> no offence Tom Dixon, but they did smell bad. Um, then I keep my lipsticks in here, well, some of my lipsticks. So in here I usually have um, a couple Tom Ford ones, but again, they're at uni. And then I have my Urban Decay ones. Uh, I usually keep like the sets I have at the top because I have a drawer for lipsticks so like the sets of lipsticks I'll keep like out and then I have some Stila ones, some Stila liquid lipsticks and then here, this is the majority of my um, MAC lipsticks I'm, I don't really rate MAC lipsticks like that much so I don't have like too many I do have a few more than this but like um, this is from when I started first getting into makeup and I thought they were like the be all and end all so I bought like loads but yeah no they're absolutely not my favourite. I have this tiny little calendar, I think this is the cutest thing ever, like this is also from TK Maxx, you'll notice a running theme that I like a lot of my stuff is from there because it's my favourite place. A tiny little diptyque that I'm yet to open, it's in there. This is a Tom Dixon tea light holder that I have like a few of them so I use them to hold my um, Jouer uh, all of my Jouer liquid lipsticks and like my skinny dip lip topper and stuff I got like a big set for Christmas and there was literally like 12 of them in there so this is a few of them in there then I have this big pineapple which is from Primark and it lights up and then I also have um, this. these are basically like my display brushes these are the real techniques like um, bold metals ones so like the fancy expensive ones but they're not that great so <laughs> they're pretty but I don't really use them so I just leave them up there and then they kind of like Whoa. and I've got um, the most expensive scissors of my life these are anthropology scissors that are meant to look like a bird 
I love them, but they also don't cut things. So again, they're for display. Now we're gonna do my actual drawers. These are the Alex 9 drawers from Ikea that literally everyone has because they're great. In my first drawer, I have all my sunglasses. A lot of my stuff is at uni, so this isn't like the complete collection. But yeah, I have some of my sunglasses, Wild Fox sunglasses. Second drawer. Okay, this is um, <laughs> this is my worst drawer probably. This is like my sample drawer, but it's so deep and it's so full that I will never be able to find any, and I'll never go through these. So I, this is a drawer I really, really do need to sort out because this stresses me out and I feel like it's going to um collapse the whole thing so yeah goodbye third drawer this is my highlight contour blush cream products drawer I've sort of tried to keep it organized but I have too much for the drawers so it's quite difficult so here I have um the contour section which is so I've like, got my Kevin Aquan I got Nars Laguna oh my god this is my tiny Nars Laguna it's so cute I don't know if it's gonna focus yeah so I've got like the big Nars Laguna and then like a tiny one don't really use them because they're kind of shimmery but like they're cute I got my hourglass um that marble yeah the one that they know what they're doing it's gorgeous and I love it I got all my highlights here I got Mary Luminizer Anastasia loads of Becca and then I've got my cream products, and I don't really use cream products that much, so I don't have like a lot, so they just fit down here, but um, it's all like the normal ones. All my blushes are in here. I don't really use blush that much, I don't have like that many. Um, but yeah, this is a Ferrero Rocher box. <laughs> so I've got some Can Make blushes, which is from Japan, and they're really, really cool. Like, these are just like a drugstore Japanese brand, but they're so nice. Some Tom Ford, some Chanel. I've got my Chanel, I really need to try this. This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. It's like a cream bronzer. I don't know, like... I'm quite scared of it, it's quite orange. So at the back I have like stuff that I don't really use that's in like limited edition or like beautiful packaging. So like this is a um, Yves Saint Laurent like blotting thing and like I really don't like it but the packaging is so cute and like so all my limited edition like travel palettes and stuff are at the back. And then down here this is my lipstick drawer. So in this box I have um, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks crayons this drawer I have lip glosses like in colors I'm never gonna use like when am I gonna use this bright red sparkly lip gloss probably never I've got miniature like nubs of lip pencils in here so like a lot of Max saw is in here and then I've got oh, some old mascaras that I'm gonna try and like bring back to life because apparently if you put contact lens solution in them it brings them back this is my um, lip balm section loads of lip balms loads of EOS is in there and then I've got a set of the Nutcracker Mac lipsticks and the Big Real Sexy Lip Kit, which was bad. <laughs> and then this is, oh, this is my favourite drawer. This is my eyeshadow palette drawer. And then again, some of them are at uni, so like you won't see my Modern Renaissance or my Morphe palettes because they're all at uni, stuff like that. Got my Huda Beauty, um, Violet Boss Holy Grail, some Balm, oh, there are some Morphe in there. Uh, Anastasia, Tom Ford, which is bad. Uh, I've got some of the Naked palettes in here. I've also got some downstairs. Um, some Too Faced miniature palettes. A Naked on the Run. That's actually quite good. That's the best of the um, Naked Urban Decay palettes. Then I've got this little box which is like single eyeshadows, eyelid primers, glitters, but more glitters at uni. Ah, this is another favourite drawer. I think I might have to get on the floor. There we go. So this box here is my foundation and concealer at the back um, like I've got the Marc Jacob primer, the Marc Jacob foundation, um, the Lamas Ooh. Lamasca skin base which I used to recommend but I don't think I recommend this anymore. Clinique, uh, I think I'm gonna go and get some sort of Estee Lauder double wear today. Um, I've been trying it and I'm, I don't know, um, I might try the light one. Anyway, this is a, it was a Yankee Candle jar <laughs> and now it's full of travel sized mascaras, the miniature hourglass veil primer is in there if it wants to focus. Nope. Um, and, ooh, a miniature hourglass mascara, film noir. Um, yeah, I got some nice ones like uh, the per perver perversion open decay I've got a Shantikai mascara in there I've got some pads and some stuff to clean up for when it goes wrong all my loose powders are here lots and lots of oh, and press powders and that one that escaped oh and that one that also escaped 
See, I need like more storage solutions because this isn't gonna work for me. I tried to keep all my eyebrow stuff in this little box because I kind of, what is that doing in there? No, um, because I don't really use that much, that many different eyebrow products. So I've just got like Brow Wiz and MAC Pencil. That's an eyeliner, what are you doing? Um, all my dip brows, yeah. So <laughs> this is just kind of my eyebrow box, but there's not much in it. And then this is a little beauty blender holder, which I think is so cute. So I've got all my beauty, <laughs> look at them. All my beauty blenders in there, which I'll put through there. I need to tidy the section more because this is quite stressful. Um, <laughs> these are just mascaras and um, liners and stuff like that. So it's a random extra beauty blender that's found its way in here. Yes, yeah, so like I've got the Dior Show primer that I do rate, it's really good. I've got this um, heroin mascara from Japan that is really good, but it's also waterproof and I hate waterproof mascara, so it's amazing, but um, it's really hard to get off, so I don't really use it. I've got my favorite Holy Grail mascara. I've got my favorite Holy Grail um, liquid liner and a refill that I need to put in it really desperately, but um, I'm trying to use up, because I uh, the Surratt liner went out of stock for so long that I bought loads of other liners and then haven't used them. Oh, I've got, um, the Tom Ford eye define pen, which don't believe the hype. There are better ones out there. But this is my hair drawer. Um, I don't really use much of my hair. This is a very solely visited, solely visited, unvisited um, drawer. But yeah, stuff I've got in here. I like this um, Bumble and Bumble thickening dry spin finish spray. That's quite good. Bumble and Bumble surf spray. I don't know. This isn't my favourite. Um, it's okay. I love it. Oh, it's so good. Uh, rose gold hairbrush because everything rose gold. Um, another pair of GHDs in here. The mane and tail spray detangler. And then like I've got stuff that isn't right for my hair that my nan bought me. So like this isn't right for my hair. It would just make my hair greasy. So I'm probably going to give stuff like this away. Yeah, when I say like, oh, I'm never going to use this. Like, don't worry. I will like give it away or like throw it away if it's a bit manky. I don't just like keep stuff for ages that I don't want. And then this here is actually not makeup. This is a lingerie drawer because all of my other drawers over there are super full and it's making me sad because I can't put it anywhere. So I'm not gonna show you this drawer, but this is like my nice underwear. And then, oh, ugh, I forgot about this drawer. This is, um, this is the bad drawer. This is my bad drawer. Everyone has a bad drawer. This is, so I've got like a makeup bag, a Mark Jacobs makeup bag, um, my old hairdryer because I have a Dyson hairdryer, which I 100% recommend. It's great, you need one. Um, and my Kitco makeup bag. Um, and then <laughs> this is some Muji storage that I keep all of my eyelashes and like tiny, um, what are they called? Tiny eyelash glues in, like, ooh. Like, I'm never gonna use 100 tiny eyelash glues, but when they come in a packet of eyelashes, I can't throw them away, it's like an addiction. So I just put them in this drawer, cause I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe one day I'll use them. I use one from um, like a tub like this. I never use the tiny ones to actually put my eyelashes on. Doing this video has actually made me realise that I need to go through and sort out what I thought I already had sorted, but I apparently don't. That is pretty much my whole makeup situation. Um, let me know if you want any more videos like this where I just go through my stuff <laughs> because I have a lot of stuff hidden in cupboards, hidden in wardrobe. My skincare under my sink is Feel like it's so full so um yeah if you want any other videos like this just let me know other than that um thanks for watching what are you meant to do you meant to like go and like and subscribe and stuff thanks